He's known as the godfather of combat control, so he's been around for, for a really long time. He's jumped in on Operation Just Cause. He was there for Desert Storm, Desert Shield. Desert Storm, he was the first combat controller to call in the first aircraft in for landing when they liberated the Kuwait International Airport. So we, we really wanted to focus on all these operational things that he did because some of the stuff is just phenomenal, you know, some of the stories. The legend that I got to work with, who's Chief Master Sergeant Wayne Norad, who's a combat controller, um, for, and, and retired actually as the um, command chief, senior enlisted leader for AFSOC. To be able to work with somebody like him was, was is a highlight of my career, for sure. So I started as an air traffic controller, did a few years doing that. Um, I then switched over to be a joint terminal attack controller, so attack P um, in the USAF, and did that. Um, so in my 13 plus years in the Canadian Air Force, um, got to do tons of fun things and been to so many cool places. And the other student that was doing the interview with me, um, Major Mike Redding is an AFSOC uh, pilot as well. So there was a really good, solid connection between the three of us. Um, lots of experiences that they both had together were very similar, both being in the AFSOC community and then me being in similar occupation fields lined up really well for us. One thing we ended up focusing on a lot was the officer um, enlisted relationship. He gave us some very interesting stories about the, how a command team should operate together um, and how an officer needs to treat their chief, uh, their senior enlisted, their command chief. Because at the end of the day, when he was, when he was a squadron chief uh, master sergeant, he had a lot of time in the military. He had a lot of experience, um, way more than his squadron commander had at the time. One of the interesting stories was they were voting on, on, a, on a specific course of action for the, that the Special Tactics Squadron was going to take, and it came down to a vote, and, and the squadron commander said, hey, we're going to bring in the whole squadron, we're going to vote on this, and the chief didn't vote, and the commander followed him into his office afterwards, and chief, I noticed you didn't, you didn't vote with everybody else, and his response was, that's because I'm not everybody else, I'm your command team partner, I'm a chief master sergeant of the United States Air Force. My vote doesn't count the same as everybody else, and you need to give me that respect. And, and after that, he said the relationship was, was really, really good after that, but they had to lay that foundation, lay that work. But sitting down for a, for a complete day and talking to Chief was, and listening to his experiences, things that kind of lined up with my experiences and things that didn't at all, um, just a phenomenal learning experience. Great opportunity.